Blood clotting saves us from excessive bleeding. When a blood vessel is broken, several blood clotting factors activate each other in a sequential order. The result of clotting factor interplay is formation of fibrin, a fiber-like protein that seals the leak. In people with hemophilia, one of the blood clotting factors is missing or inactive. Their blood coagulation process is less efficient, which leads to a prolonged bleeding. In the case of hemophilia A, the missing factor is the factor 8, and in the case of hemophilia B, it is the factor 9. Both blood clotting factors are encoded by single genes, called F8 and F9, located on the X chromosome. To treat hemophilia with gene therapy, a healthy copy of the F8 or F9 gene is packaged in adeno-associated virus. Viral particles are injected into the portal vein that carries them to liver cells. The virus moves through cell and nuclear membranes and inserts factor DNA into cell nucleus. Liver cells modified by gene therapy start producing factor protein that restores the efficiency of the blood clotting mechanism. As of today, there are several hemophilia gene therapy programs in the phase 3 of clinical trials. Preliminary data show them to be safe and effective. There is a good chance that gene therapy will become a standard treatment for hemophilia in the near future. If you want to learn more about hemophilia gene therapy, please visit my website to read the full article.